welcome to Finance Conversations. This is the Merging Life in Money Show, and I am super excited to be here. The new year is fast approaching, only nine days left in 2022. This year has been an unprecedented one with numerous highs and lows everywhere around the world. And as the year draws to an end, it is essential to take a moment to reflect on and assess the events of the past 12 months. The past 356 days have been filled with ups and downs, successes and failures, and moment of joy and sorrow. And it is important to take stock of the triumphs and tribulation of the year and use them to make future decisions. So today is the perfect opportunity to rewind the tape on 2022 and identify its high and low points. Doing so will provide invaluable insight into how to navigate the future more successfully, okay? And basically, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So welcome to the Merging Life and Money Show. Today, I will be talking about unlocking the secret to a winning attitude in 2023, and I will provide practical strategies for keeping your mind strong and focused in 2023. But before I get into it, let me, allow me to introduce myself. For those of you who do not know me, I am your host, Marie-Jo César. I help professional women transform their relationship with money by giving them the necessary financial skills and knowledge they need to take control of their money, manage their finances, and recognize that they can live their best lives with the money they have. Thank you for joining in today. Well, I come to you live every Thursday at 5 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to share tips, tools, techniques, inspiration, motivation, and to give you valuable information about how to achieve financial wellness and live your life with means and meaning. And as you may know, the Merging Life and Money Show's primary purpose and my very, very strong why is to empower as many women as I possibly can by sharing what I know about money and finance so that they can live their greatest lives yet. So grab a pen and a notebook because you might want to take some notes and it's a holiday season, you'll be gathering, you may want to share them and talk about them with family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, etc. because it is about sharing values that could benefit others. So if you are listening on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and the like, you know, other major podcast platforms, I welcome you. I am very glad that you have joined in today. So let's get going. Starting the new year on a positive note is one of the best ways to set yourself up for success. With the right attitude, anything is possible. So today, I will be talking about the secret to having a winning attitude, and I will focus on the following three points. Setting goals, staying positive, and being accountable. But first, What is attitude? Attitude is a way of thinking or feeling that affects your behavior. It is a combination of your beliefs, your values, and your opinions. And it can be both actually positive and negative. 
and negative. So attitude is important because it affects your lives in many, many ways. It can influence your decision making. It can influence your relationships. It can influence your productivity. And it can even influence your mental well-being. So now that I have defined attitude, what is a winning attitude? Well, a winning attitude can be defined as a mental state of mind that is characterized by having a strong belief in oneself and one's abilities, a positive outlook on life, and an eagerness to take on challenges and succeed. And it also entails having a positive attitude and strong work ethic, um, having the determination to reach your goals, and having a sense of self-confidence and optimism, and having the willingness to take risks and learn from your failure. Also, having a winning attitude can have numerous benefits, both in your personal and your professional, your professional life. It can help you stay motivated and focused. It can help you stay on track with your goals. And it can um, help you remain optimistic and resilient in the face of adversity. At the end of the day, having a winning attitude can help you be more productive and successful, as well as develop better relationships with others. So let's address the first point of today's show. Setting goals, setting goals, setting goals. 2023 is nine days away. And what better time to start unlocking the secret to a winning attitude? Setting goals is a great way to set yourself up for success in the coming year. It is also one way to ensure that you stay focused and motivated and that you continue to develop and grow even in the face of any obstacles that may come your way. For my professional women, Audi in particular, setting goals can be a powerful tool for success because achieving goals help boost your self-esteem, it helps increase your confidence, and it also helps give you a better sense of who you are and what you want to accomplish. So let me say that. Setting goals is just the first step, as it is also important to identify your goals, establish your priorities, create an action plan, and measure your progress along the way. So let's take a closer look at how you can set yourself up for success in 2023 by unlocking the secret to a winning attitude. First, identify your goals, as I mentioned. The first step in setting goals is to identify them. It's, it, it's to identify what you want to achieve. So think about what you want to accomplish in 2023, what you want to learn, do or experience. Also think about what is going to bring you joy and satisfaction. Whether it is completing a project, um, mastering a skills or just taking some time to relax, it is important to decide on goals that align with your values and fit in with your lifestyle. Second, establish your priorities. Once you have identified your goals, it is important to establish your priorities. 
Break down your overall goal into small achievable tasks and decide which one will take precedence. For prioritizing your goals will help you stay focused and motivated as you know that each task is taking you one step closer to achieving your overall goal. Third, create an action plan. Once you have identified your goals and established your priorities, it is time to create an action plan. An action action plan is actually a step-by-step guide that outlines, I would say, the specific step you need to take to achieve your goals. So when creating an action plan, make sure to include tasks that are realistic and achievable and that you can measure your progress against. And fourth, measure your progress. It is important to measure your progress against your action plan. This will enable you to stay on track, adjust your plan if necessary, and ultimately, realize or I would say reach your goal in the most efficient way possible. It is also important to review and celebrate your progress along the way because this can help you to keep your motivation levels high and um, encourage you to keep pushing forward. So I will end this particular point by saying that goals provide focus and direction, helping you, a professional women out there, to stay motivating and energized as you strive to reach your objectives. Because you know that when you set your mind to do something and you make a plan to reach it, you become unstoppable. You also know that it is never too late to start creating goals that will take you to the next level, professionally, personally, and financially. So start setting those goals today and pursue them with passion and determination. You will be well on your way to unlocking the secret to a winning attitude in 2023. Don't let your dreams remain dreams, okay? Take action and make them a reality. Now let's look at the second point, which is staying positive. Well, 2023, as we said, is quickly approaching And with it comes a whole new set of challenges and opportunities. So for professional women, having a successful attitude is essential for success, particularly in the workplace. Excuse me. But how can you develop a winning attitude and stay positive in the face of adversity? Well, what makes you stand out from the rest is your attitude, okay? A winning attitude can take you to great heights and open doors that otherwise would have remained closed. For that, you need to develop a positive attitude and mindset. You need to stay positive and you need to make sure that your attitude reflects your ambition and commitment to succeed in your endeavors. And while it may sound good and simple, it can be difficult to stay motivated and optimistic when faced with challenges and setbacks. But don't worry. Okay, don't worry. There are some easy tips and tricks 
that can help you stay positive and take on 2023 with a winning attitude. First, learn to reframe negative thoughts. We all have moments of doubt and fear that can lead to a downward spiral, a spiral, I should say, of negativity. However, the power of positive thinking is something you should all strive for. You need to learn to reframe your negative thought into positive ones. Okay, focusing on the positives in your life and dismissing the negatives will help you to stay on track and be more productive. Furthermore, instead of looking at a task as overwhelming, look at it as an opportunity, all right? Instead of seeing a setback as a failure, look at it as a learning experience. And remind yourself that these moments of doubt do not define you and focus on the positive. Second, surround yourself with positive people. Make sure that you are spending um, time with people who inspire and motivate you because surrounding yourself with positive people who will encourage you and support you is essential. It is important to spend time with positive people who will help you stay focused on your goals, who will help you stay on track when times are tough, and who are lifting and encouraging, um, uh, I would say we have, uh, they must be uplifting and encouraging uh, people, okay, who are lifting you up and make you feel good about yourself, okay? They are the one who will support you through tough times. Whether it's your family, friends, or colleagues, find people who will have your back and help you to stay positive because it will help to create a positive environment which can be beneficial for your mental health. Next, celebrate small victories. This can, this can involve taking time to recognize and appreciate small successes, such as completing a task or reaching a major milestone, right? Each victory, big or small, is a reminder of how far you have come and how much you have achieved. So celebrate your successes, no matter how small they may be, and allow yourself to enjoy the feeling of accomplishment, okay? They will help you stay motivated and focused. Finally, Learn to embrace challenges. Life is full of obstacles and setbacks. So it is important to learn to accept them and move forward. As professional women, you need to be confident in your ability, in your abilities, and embrace the challenges that come your way. Challenges are a great opportunity to learn and develop new skills and can be a great way to build your self-confidence. So never let a challenge stand in the way of your progress or success. Instead, use this obstacle, obstacle as an opportunity to learn and grow. It will help you increase your resilience and your self-confidence. So face each challenge with an open heart and mind and see it as a learning 
experience. I will end this point by saying that by following these simple tips and staying positive, you can certainly unlock the secret to a winning attitude in 2023. Don't let your circumstances or hardships define you. Stay positive and believe in yourself and success will follow. Now, let's look at the third and final point for today's show. Being accountable. As professional women, we often feel the need to continuously prove ourselves. But how do we ensure that our attitude and actions are making a positive impact? The answer is accountability. Accountability means taking responsibility for your actions, for your decisions, and for your life. It means accepting the consequences of your choices and shouldering the burden of your successes. Accountability also means being honest with yourself and owning up to mistakes when they are made. I will add that with accountability comes a sense of ownership, allowing you to take control of your life and set yourself up for success. Let us let us not forget that women are often expected to take on more than their fair share of responsibilities. And that can sometimes lead to burnout. However, to ensure success in your professional and personal life, it is important to take responsibility for your actions and decisions. So by being accountable for your life, you can better position yourself to reach your goals. When you know what you want, you can make decisions to help you get there. Accountability can also help you identify your blind spots and areas where you need to improve. Uh, it can also uh, help you get, gain a greater sense of self-awareness. It can help you um, recognize your strengths and weaknesses. It can help you stay on track. It can help you um, develop resiliency, build confidence, stay focused on your goals, and strive for excellence even in the face of adversity. It must also be noted that in addition to taking responsibility for your life, being accountable entails setting boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and seeking support. So let us take a look at these three components. The first one, setting boundaries is an important part of accountability, right? Knowing what we are or will not accept, I'm sorry, knowing what you will or will not accept in your life and relationships is essential to making sure your time and energy are spent on the things that matter most to you. Establishing boundaries will help to identify each person's roles and responsibilities, as well as expectation of one another. So setting boundaries is a great way to harmonize work and life, and most of all, avoid burnout. Also, it is important to communicate these boundaries to others in a very clear and concise manner. Because setting boundaries, because by setting boundaries, you are creating an environment that is conducive to success and happiness. Two, prioritizing self-care. 
One of the most important aspects of a winning attitude is that, okay, prioritizing self-care. Taking the time to care for yourself is essential for your mental and your physical well-being. So taking the time to rest, recharge, and reconnect with yourself is essential to achieving success. So self-care could include activities such as exercising, eating healthily, and engaging in activities that brings you joy and fulfillment. Note as well that taking care of yourself will help to boost your confidence and increase your productivity. Three, seeking support. Don't be afraid to seek support. It is a great way to stay accountable and motivated. Whether it's a friend, family member, or professional, having someone to talk to and rely on for support can make a huge difference, okay? So when you are feeling overwhelmed or unsure, you can seek support from your peers, from your mentors, and from other in your professional community to help you stay on track. Moreover, it is important to seek out a strong group of peers that can provide support, that can provide advice and encouragement. Because having a strong support system will help keep um, will help to keep you motivated and focused on your goals. Okay, and these are very important for, for focus and motivation. I will end this third point by stating that it is essential that you take ownership of your destiny and strive for success in all aspects of your life, okay? By committing to being accountable and unlocking the secret to a winning attitude, you can set yourself up for success in your professional and personal lives. Because with an accountable attitude, and a winning mindset, you can reach your goals and make a meaningful impact in your life and the life of others. So let's wrap it up and recapitulate what I addressed today. I talk about the secret to having a winning attitude for 2023. And I focused on the following three points, setting goals, staying positive, and being accountable. So to summarize it all, I will say that developing a willing attitude involves identifying and prioritizing your goals, reframing negative thoughts, celebrating small victories, taking responsibilities for your actions, setting boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and seeking support. And as I see it, having a winning attitude can have numerous benefits, both in your personal and professional life. Right? It can keep you... I would say, um, um, I guess it can help you stay motivated and focused. As I said, motivation and focus are important. It could help you stay on track with your goals. Um, It could help you remain optimistic and resilient in the face of adversity. And it can help you develop better relationships with others. My last words for today's show. Developing a winning attitude is an ongoing process that takes time and effort. However, it is achievable. 
with the right mindset and dedication. So start today and begin your journey toward a winning attitude. Let's make 2023 the year of reaching your goals and achieving your dreams. As you know, I like to end my show with a quote. And today I have chosen a quote from Cory Booker. And it reads, the right attitude can transform a barrier into a blessing, an obstacle into an opportunity, or a stumbling block into a stepping stone. Cory Booker is a lawyer and politician currently, and he's also currently a sitting member of the U.S. Senate. So this brings us to the end of today's Merging Life and Money episode. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's show, and I totally encourage you to watch the replay and make sure to share it with others. So if you want to learn more about the secret to a winning attitude, I will ask you to schedule a complimentary discovery call with me by visiting my website, which is marriagecesar.com. And let me see if I could find the banner. Um, and I could see uh, how we could work together, right? And ensure success for you in 2023. So for more information about how to achieve financial wellness, from the inside out and live a purposeful life with the money you have, join me next week, Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Mountain time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Atlantic time and 10 a.m. Friday morning, Friday, so in Brisbane, Australia time. Thank you for being here today on the Merging Life and Money Show. I am your host, Marie-Jo César. I will be back again next week. Until then, continue merging life and money. Bye for now.